What is up guys, I'm the Kitchen Queen Kid. I want to just educate kids so they're prepared for the future. What's up guys, I'm the Kitchen Queen Kid. And today we'll be talking about Bitcoin forks. This is my dad's actual fork from dinner. He eats like Shrek. So as you guys know from my other videos, Bitcoin is code. And because of that, it always has to be updated and improved. Can't just use the same code forever. So what I'm talking about here also applies to other cryptocurrency besides Bitcoin. So what happens if two coders that both work on Bitcoin want to make a change? They can do something called a soft fork. A soft fork is an upgrade to the code that is compatible with the previous software. In other words, it's gotta work even after the upgrade. Both the code has to work and the blockchain has to work. But what happens if those same coders want to make changes and they do not agree? Dude, I think we need to change the code. <laughs> Dude, are we on the same page? Um, I don't know. It'll just change the speed of the transactions that Bitcoin has. I don't think that's a problem. I think we need to improve the security. Do it seriously. We need to change the code. We need to make it way faster. We can work on security some other time. Well, I think some people are trying to hack into our system. Yeah, but it'll, they'll have less time to do it if we speed up the transactions. Well, I still think we should improve the security. Oh, come on, dude. I made a whole influential speech and then you still don't agree with me. Huh? Let's increase the block size and make it faster. No, that's a big no. That's too big of a change. Dude, it's just the, the block size. We can have more data in the blocks, yo. That's what I want to do. But we need to change the speed. We need to change the block size. We have to. You agree with me, dude? This is the last time I'm saying it. No, it's too big a direction and just get back to work. Fine, I'm done speaking with you. So when the coders and the miners disagree, you can have a hard fork. A hard fork starts with copying the original Bitcoin code. Because Bitcoin is open source, anyone can do this. Once you copy the Bitcoin code, you can start making your changes. And when it's ready, the fork will begin at a chosen block. So whenever this happens, whoever owned the original Bitcoin from the chain, they will get double the amount of coins as they had before. Some people think this is like free money. But here's the problem. If no one uses the forked coin and no miners mine the block, that's pretty much useless. It's the hard knock life for us. Static we get tricks. Static says we get tricks. It's the hard knock life. There have been lots of Bitcoin forks. Bitcoin XT. Bitcoin Unlimited, Bitcoin Cash, Segwit was a failed fork, Bitcoin Gold, and a bunch of other ones. Everyone's trying to fork Bitcoin. But this is what makes Bitcoin so cool. Because it's like a competition. Who's gonna make the best version of it? Which one can get the community to support it, the customers to spend it, and the miners to mine it? And if you're running the old software and you don't upgrade, then the old software will see new transactions invalid. So to switch over to the new chain and to keep mining blocks, all of the nodes on the network need to upgrade to the new rules. And that is what a hard fork is. Copying code and seeing if people like it. <laughs> Guys, guess what? What? There's a Bitcoin fork happening in two weeks. On November 15th, Bitcoin Cash, which is a fork of Bitcoin, is going to have another fork between two groups. Bitcoin SV and ABC Bitcoin. And we are going to experience a hard fork in action. If you own one Bitcoin cash, you'll end up with one of each. We'll see if they can hold their value after the fork. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about hard forks. Cryptocurrency is so interesting. 
And that's how it grows so fast. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. And I will see you later.